Hello everyone, I received a gift from the seller. It is a digital microscope. So let's check it and see what's going on here. Uh, this is the Amazon page for the microscope, Julia Lens GL249MS. It came with the three different lenses. The screen is a uh, 10 inch and it has the HDMI output. So is a microscope it can be used for soldering or biological uh, use. And it has an external PC and HDMI out. So this is all the specs. What we need to know is just the power of the lenses, magnification power. So the first lens is a power of 240 and second one is 720 and the third one is 2040 this lens here it can be used for the to see the cells the video resolution is uh, 2k and the picture resolution is up to 24 meg so the work distance between the microscope and the base is up to 33 centimeter that's very enough for the solder iron and the hot air to work. Let's put the microscope together and check what's included and how it uh, works. And we might try something quick, solder or uh, removing some component. All right, we have the manual and the instructions, how to put the microscope together and how it works. Gonna read this book later. Usually this device is easy to put it together. So in the package, we have this screen is a 10 inch. Screen looks good. And uh, there is a microscope in it. That's the microscope. There is a HDMI port. It's a mini HDMI, micro USB port, SD card slot. And there is a reset button. Remote control, a little box for like bugs. There is the micro USB uh, cable. This is the lenses, extra two lenses here. And uh, some other parts for the microscope. This one for the check the cells, the, like the ender light. There is a 32 gig card. This one is a controller for the light and the power for the light as well. It's powered by USB, so it's uh, easy to use, and it's plugged to the micro USB port. This is mini HDMI cable, two regular HDMI if you want to use a big monitor. This is the microscope holder. is a metal and this is the the light and the plate the base is a metal it's not a plastic that's good so it can handle the heat so let's start uh, putting it together we're going to screw this bar I'm going to remove that lens. Uh, that's the light sensor for the camera. That's how big it is. It's almost like one centimeter by one centimeter. Uh, the microscope fits good in the holder. The microscope is not that heavy. And this is the lens that we remove it. The working distance is a 12 millimeter to 320 millimeter. This is the medium uh, lens. So usually we are for the soldering, we're going to use the other lens because it gives uh, more distance. 
All right, let's plug the microscope to the power. Micro USB cable go into the micro USB port, and there is another plug for the the LED light. Other end is can be plugged to the computer or to any USB uh, USB plug. Yeah, the picture looks good. Even these lenses give a good distance for working. The picture and the screen, it's look very clear. Uh, the picture and the camera in the recording may look a little bit different. And is a low resolution, but this, the picture that I'm seeing on the screen is looks very perfect. Yeah, even it's better than my my other microscope. Yeah, it looks good. I can see all the components. You can adjust the how bright is the light with this uh, controller. Yeah, this light is adjustable. You can adjust the the angle and and where the light is uh, directing. And you have the power button in that little remote. Can turn it off and turn it on. Plus, you can uh, use the digital uh, zoom. And you can see the medium capacitors and the phone board, the chip, like everything looks clear. Let's try another lens. The distance in this lens is between 90 millimeter to 300 millimeter. So it's a good distance for uh, soldering. Replacing the lenses is very easy, it's just like there is two screws on the side that's holding the lens to the microscope. And you can see the microscope is go like vertical up and down, and it's go horizontal. And there is a there is another adjustable like for uh, to clear, to focus. And now we can see the smallest component in the phone, like filters and yeah, my tweezer, my old tweezer looks bigger than the component. I can see the processor pads and traces. We are just using uh, optical uh, zoom. We are not using the digital uh, zoom. We can zoom more in the board just by uh, making the microscope a little bit down and adjusting it to, to be clear. I'm going to record a little bit 
just to see how the resolution of uh, recording. After you put the SD card, you need to restart the, the digital uh, microscope. The screen is exactly 10 inch. The working distance is about like uh, 4 inch. So you can see how free is the solder iron for any position, any angle. We can adjust the light. Yeah, I do like these lights because it's giving me like more, uh, more flexible to move them, and uh, it's going to be good to see the the marks and the IC without moving the board. So let's try to desolder this small component. This is the smallest capacitor and the iPhone board. Putting the board direct and uh, in that plate, it's not a really good idea to be solder and desolder because the board is need the board is keep sliding around and this needs something to hold it. Yeah the microscope is came with these two holders. And let's uh, just, uh, let's try them. Let's try them to hold the board and we solder and desolder that uh, component. We hold the board good now, it's not gonna be moving when we are using the tweezer or the solder. You can see how the microscope is moved back and forward, up and down. We are rotation to the right and left. And there is another, uh, there is another uh, adjustment, like you can adjust this angle. And this is going to help a lot when I am doing the TV screen board. Because that time I can't bring the whole screen to my desk. And they can use this microscope to solder and desolder on the screen board. Plus the microscope is not that heavy. I can put it on the TV screen with no problem. No worries about the screen is going to get cracked. If you remember one of my uh, videos last week, I removed a capacitor from a sc TV screen and it's cracked some, uh, it's damaged some traces. And they had a really hard time to, to solder that uh, trace without the microscope. So this one is going to make the work more easy. Yeah, I'm still need to figure out if this microscope can be like record at the, uh, at the computer the same time when I am uh, looking at this microscope screen. Yeah, this option is very important for me because I'm doing the videos and I'm going to need I'm going to need the, the microscope to be recording on the computer at the same time. So we'll check this option when we're done.
Yeah, remember this is a big weather, big southern uh, chip, and uh, even that we managed to solder uh, that little component in the place using this microscope. This is the record that I put in the SD card. You can see how is the resolution in the picture. It's look clear. It looks good. And this is what I see in my picture. It's kind of same or better uh, resolution in the microscope screen. All right, let's uh, test now the most powerful uh, lens. This one is allow you to see the cells. And that's that's what we're going to try, yeah. This lens, the distance between the object and the lens is about like five millimeter. So it's enough to put the glass uh, plate. Yeah, look how amazing is this picture. Looks very good. This is the size of human hair. And you can see the difference between the picture we have in the microscope and the picture we have with the lab microscope. So the details is kind of the same. Yeah, in this example, we see like the, the cells, look at the structure of the cells. And you can see the little dots inside the cells. And we can even go more uh, bigger. Yeah, my time in school, we didn't have the microscope this powerful. So this is a, a very tiny bug leg. It's, the size of it is less than one millimeter. And you can see all the details in that you can see the hair and the sides. Look at the end of the bug leg. Oh, this is amazing. This is a bug winch. The size of it, I think, is less than two millimeter. And look how is the, the structure and the and that winch, like this pointy stuff.